Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football 6 box half case random team break number 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. So I think Jason Jaspie did the first half and then he marked all of these RT2 RTD2 so you know that they're from the same case. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Now the first 16 spots sold are eligible for the early bird promo. You are the early birds, and the worm is an extra spot in this break. So, good luck to the first 16 spots. And the name on top, after five times, we'll make it happen. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. And it's Gary. Congrats to you, Gary. You are the early bird after five times. That caught the delicious, delicious worm. Mmm, worms. And that worm is a bonus spot in this break. Congrats to you. Now, let's take all the names here, now that we've got that settled, and see what teams you end up with. All 32 teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a three, lucky seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven the final time. After seven times, we've got Sen Yin down to Charles. Let's go to the different tab right here. So there's Sen Yin down to Charles. And now let's see what teams you're going to end up with. Good luck, everybody. Four and three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, there's seven right there. Arizona football Cardinals all the way down to the ATL, the Dirty Birds. All right, Sen Yin, you have the Arizona football Cardinals. And I don't know what came out in the first half, but good luck, everybody. Anthony with the Jags. David with the Colts. <laughs> yeah, you won, Gary. Gabe with the Bills. Uh, David with the Saints, Charles with the Texans, Paul with the Bears, Derek with the Redskins, Charles, last spot, Mojo, Seahawks, Charles S., Vikings, Patriots, and Dolphins, Derek with the Niners, Gary with the Browns, Glenn with the Broncos, uh, Allen with the Giants, Jeremy with the Steelers, Charles S. with the Cowboys, Rick T. with the Titans, Glenn with the Eagles, Jacqueline with the Ravens, Charles S. with the Rams, David with my Raiders, Steven with the Bengals, Gabe with the... Packers, David with the Chiefs, Charles S. with the Lions, Trevor Jacobs with the Buccaneers, TJ Leonard with the Jets, Gary, your early bird spot, Chargers, you also have the Panthers, or David has the Panthers, and Charles S. with the Falcons. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And I'm going to pause the video and allow people to trade. I'll give everyone like, I don't know, 30 seconds or so to trade. But we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we will have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There were a couple trades. So let's flip back to the other screen right here. So the first trade was Gabe has the Chargers now. Gary Fig has divested himself of the Chargers spot and is now has the Green Bay Packers. We'll put capital T's next to there so you know that was part of the trade. Now, Stephen Cohen and Trevor Jacobs also made a trade. Stephen Cohen no longer has Cat T Mojo, goes with the Buccaneers, so I guess maybe like a pirate mojo. And T Jacobs now has the Bengals. We'll put lowercase T's next to there for that second trade. So there you go. The trade window has been closed. Let's print. And let's rip. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good luck, everybody. On Tuesday, 29th, six box, half case, random team two, 2019 Prism Football. There's how it all shakes out. So if you're keeping track at home, you can see who draws first blood in those trades. Charles, you have the little Last Bob Mojo star next to your name. 
Thanks, everyone, and good luck. Remember, Jason put RT2 on those, so you know this from the same case. Let's do this. Three autographs per box on average. All right, folks, uh, let's talk some football. I, I don't see you guys until Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't always have time to, to kind of recap the football games. Now, after everyone has digested all of these games, I don't know, let's kind of put a, put a broad point on it. What, what were some of the teams you were excited about, Ex you know, excited to see, who put on good performances, who did, who did poorly, you know, like what were some of the surprising teams? Any storylines that jump out at you, football-wise? We got, for, for our contest, after going almost 5-0 and last week, this most recent week, or the week before last, this most recent week, Nick and I got destroyed. We only won one game. Back to the drawing board for us. Gary says, my Colts pulled one out on the old man's leg. The Colts were one of the teams that screwed us. We had the minus five and a half. But that was a good win for them, though. I like Jacoby Brissett a lot, too. I watched the, uh, the Peyton Manning detail with Jacoby Brissett, which is really good. It's just like you're watching game film with Peyton. Um, it's not even entertaining. It's just it's very dry, but it's, it's fun. Peyton makes it fun. All right, there's Gronk. There's Jarrett Stidham, 25. You know, Tom Brady. Some rumors about Tom Brady maybe coming out west to finish out his career. There's Tyler Lockett to 99. Irv Smith Jr. So we'll sleeve and top load all of these before they go out, of course. Anthony's Bills blew it against the Eagles. I, I was feeling the Eagles for that week for some reason, but not strong enough to make it a contest pick. Kelvin Harmon, Redskins is our first autograph. Derek Slavic with that one. This is true, Edward. Yeah, that was the one consolation. We were on the Bears, too. They didn't look, they didn't look very good. <laughs> Another, I don't know, their kicking woes continue there. Marquez Valdez Scantling to 249 was on the Chiefs too. Thought they got close, they didn't quite make it. I think we took a lot of high risk sort of picks, and gambling a little bit. There is Steven Gotkowski to 149. There's Gary Jennings Jr. to 199. Yeah, I thought I wasn't on the Browns this week, but I thought I thought they put in a slightly better performance. But I think we saw the difference between Bill Belichick and Freddie Kitchens right there. Even if the Browns do have some raw individual talent, Baker Mayfield I still love individually. Odell Beckham Jr., Nick Chubb ran well. David Yoku, et cetera, et cetera. Oh. Landry, you know, but there's Daniel Jones. Nice Daniel Jones. Camo. He put in a nice performance too. So I think Daniel Jones looks like the real deal. And Lions have a pretty decent defense too. Charles S. Out of 25, Camo Refractor. But, um, but yeah, I thought I thought the Browns. I mean, for the year too, Dave. I, th I thought the Bears. I thought the Browns would be better just for over over the year as well. Just in general. Uh, that Daniel Jones goes to Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. There he is. Got randomized the Giants in this random team break. And a second Daniel Jones out of the same box for Alan Murdoch. There you go. Daniel Jones had a pretty nice day. 322 yards, Alan. Four, uh, four touchdowns and no interceptions. Took a few sacks.
So there are the first three autographs of the break. Let's get to the next box. Let's see, what was my other contest pick that was not very good? The only contest pick we won was Seattle minus six and a half, and that was just barely. Matt Moore, of all people, almost backdoor covered. Right there. Chicago minus four. We didn't get Indianapolis minus five and a half. We didn't get... Man, I thought Carolina, and a lot of people thought Carolina was going to be a lot better. They got smoked by San Francisco. I had them plus five and a half. And then KC plus three and a half. I thought Carolina off the bye was going to be pretty good. I think a lot of people were on Carolina too in our contest. And... Smoked. I guess the Niners are for real. That defense is for real. I still hear rumblings about like them trying to f find a rip someone for Jimmy Garoppolo, that he's not the long-term answer, but, I mean, who cares as long as that defense just keeps destroying. Patriots, that defense is incredible, too. My Raiders did okay, but Edward and I were lamenting earlier about how that that Raiders defense just not putting pressure on any on any opposing quarterback. That's that's been sort of their downfall. But they scored four Texans scored fourteen in the fourth quarter to go up twenty seven twenty four on the Raiders, whose whose offense has been looking pretty good though. Riley Ridley to one seventy five when when Josh Jacobs Almost said Trevor Jacobs, <laughs> not Trevor J. He's not my. He's not the running back for the Raiders. When Josh Jacobs starts, Slayton had a nice game too. Deep leagues, fantasy pickup. Go get him. Um, that's another one for Allen. But when you have Josh Jacobs setting up the run, it all comes together for Derek Carr. I don't know if Derek Derek Carr is not like Aaron Rodgers, right? Where he just can't take over a game. But I think when when, you know, when Derek Carr is only getting like, you know, if he's only throwing, if he, if he can throw less than 30 times a game or something like that, you know, that means that that's a good game. Here's Deion Sanders to 199. Yeah, that was brutal. That defense is not good. Is Jay Gruden a defensive coach? You think you think uh, John will hire his brother? There's Rice Love to 249. I don't know what Jay Gruden's background is, to be honest with you. There's Travis Fulham to 75. There's Cameron Jordan to 149. There's Ed Oliver. To 199. There's Darwin Thompson. Chiefs. That will be David, Dave Farley with the Chiefs. Anthony Bonilla says his background is bad hair. Oh, Jay's more of an offensive guy. All right, well. I'll bet they'll still hire him anyway. Jay Gruden. <laughs> Call his brother up. You want to live in Vegas for a few years? There's Traquan Smith to 199. But I have to admit, John Gruden has has been been pretty good after such a long layoff. There's some some rust the first couple years, but I think this year he started to open up the playbook a little bit. Everyone's learning the new language. I think they're kind of getting around to it. They got a good running back. There's Dexter Willing for the Packers. Gary drawing first blood in that trade. 
And there's Derwin James, 249. So yeah, I, I mean, I, th I think, I think you know, it's kind of a in Gruden we trust kind of thing. I think he's he's sort of methodically trading away every Reggie McKenzie pick, you know, most of them anyway, and then uh, replacing them. So it's still a process for the Raiders. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, next this off season. Defense is really has to be the key focus. Maybe get a wide receiver somewhere, but that defense has to be a massive priority. So let's look at the some of the. I think I did. How many of these games did I? I didn't watch all of these games, but. Watch some of that Seahawks Falcons games. Seahawks jumped out early, and then Falcons tried to close, didn't quite get there. Yeah, Eagles had a really good game against the Bills. I didn't think they put 31 on the Bills. Josh Allen, I think that might be a bit of a, a, a question mark, a concern for Bills fans, maybe. Defense is legit, but they're just going to get exhausted if, uh, if Josh Allen keeps giving the ball back to the other side. Um, Chargers escaped from Chicago. Uh, so what do you think about the Chicago decision, the Matt Nagy decision, not to run the ball and not to maybe take another play to throw the ball? Um, what does everyone think? In the press conference, he was adamant about uh, we weren't going to do anything. Um, I think I think that show right. He had timeouts. He had a timeout, right? He had another down or two, right? You know what this says? This says how much, how very little trust he has in Mitchell Trubisky. I think that screams volumes. Like he was, he had such little faith in Mitchell Drabisky that he was willing to run the kicker out there in that position and have him kick it. I think that's what it says. To sacrifice the win to possibly sacrifice his job. I don't think he trusted Trubisky to even hand the ball off correctly to what running back is he going to hand it off to. Like... There's just zero trust in that offense. Redemption. Like he was just like, let's just kick it so we can get off the field as quickly as possible before we make... There's John Ursua to 175. I don't know, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm just trying to put myself in his shoes and figure out why he would make such a silly decision and not just give it to Montgomery for... For a for a yard or two, right? I mean, maybe that's like zero faith in the offensive line that he thought they would take yards for a loss. So, Clay Matthews to two forty nine. Sean says the funny thing is Pinero said he wanted the ball placed between the hash marks. Now you called to have it down on the left hash mark. I mean, it's just bad. It's just bad, bad news all around. There's Willis McGahee. Nice. Buffalo. Nice one for the Bills. Gabe. With the Bills. 11 out of 25. Marquise Brown, 75. Luke Keekley to 149, Panthers. That'll be for Dave. Mark. 
There's Josh Allen to 199. There's Tyree Jackson to 249. There's Raquel Armstead to 99. There's Drew Locke, sensational signatures. Broncos dropping another one. Joe Flacco. Not pleased with the offensive play calling, and now he's out with a neck thing, or because he was a pain in the neck. <laughs> but with a neck thing, he's out. Broncos autograph goes to Glenn Campbell. By the time I get to Denver, she'll be rising. But who's gonna who's gonna start? Is Drew Lock gonna start? Is he off the IR? And it's Irv Smith Jr. Prism Red Wave autograph for um, the for Charles, who has the Vikings. All right, halfway through this half case break. This is Random Team 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got a full case pick your team available on the website. That will go tomorrow, but I think there's only a few spots left, so that could be one of our first breaks of the day. Oh, Brett Rippon is starting, I see. And Locke is after week 11, gotcha. Yeah, why not just, yeah, just IR Flacco and just call it a day after that. Um, let's see, what other games jumped out at me? The Giants did okay. Daniel Jones looked good. Lines pulled away at the end. Didn't watch any of that Titans Buccaneers matchup. Wow, they Titans forced four turnovers off of Jameis Winston. Tannehill looked decent. All right, there you go. Yeah, Colts. Adam Vinatieri taking care of business at the very end after not taking care of business earlier. How did the Bucks get robbed when Gabe? It says, I says here, Titans force four toner turnovers by Winston. Oh, did they get screwed at the end? I don't know. Let me turn the ball, ball over four times. Oh, that was the, was that the fumble return for a TD that should have been whistled down though? But they left it a TD? Was that the play? Maybe I saw some tale of that. Is that the one? All right, next box. There's Devin Singletary. Oh, other way around. Oh, fake field goal. Punter got rocked and fumbled, recovered, then taken for a TD. There's Devin Singletary. Buffalo. Buffalo Bills. Gabe with that one. Gabe Plunkard. Got a couple of nice bills, though, Gabe, in this break. There's Tariq Cohen. It's a 249. There's Jonathan Abram. Kind of wish he was still around. Gotcha, yeah, they, so it's Stephen Cohen saying, yeah, they blew it dead, but it should have been a TD. That's, okay, that's that's pretty rough. Jonathan Abram, he'll be back next year for my Raiders. Um, who got randomized my Raiders? Dave got randomized my Raiders. Uh, Rams Cruz, they won 24-10. I guess that prompted, that loss prompted the Bengals to to take a look at Ryan, or the Bengals to look at Ryan Finley. There's Larry Fitzgerald. So Andy Dalton benched. Yeah, 
There's Ron and Allison to 175. Packers look like they're cruising. There's Ricky Seals Jones to 199. Who I think is a Brown, not a Cardinal, right? There's Ryan Kerrigan, sensational signatures. Why didn't they trade like Ryan Kerrigan? Does someone would want a Ryan Kerrigan, right? Derek Slavic. Redskins should be tearing down that team. That goes to Derek Slavic and the Redskins. Tyra Williams, healthy again. Which is good. No, that's just a kid reporter card. And Raiders still need, as Edward was saying earlier, still needs another receiver. Edward, I was surprised that, well, unless I missed the news, there's Case Keenum to 49. I was surprised that the Raiders didn't go for a receiver that they were connected to, like Robbie Anderson, I think there was talk about. Just surprised that they didn't make something happen, unless they did, and I just missed it. There's Anthony Johnson to 140. I feel like someone would have mentioned something there. I mean, it's still young. You know, still learning. There's Damian Williams to 175. There's Karen Higdon to 199. Kid reporter card. The end. Two boxes to go. Isn't like everyone, anyone won enough to give up the picks. That makes sense. I'm okay with that, I guess. Um, I don't know what what. Yeah, I know. Is Robbie Anderson really moving the needle? No. I mean, not for what did the Jets want? I mean, if, I, if I was like, I don't know. Cardinals got smoked by the Saints. Drew Brees is back. He looked good. Uh, Jaguars beat the Jets. Speaking of the Jets, 29-15. Few more, few more picks for Sam Darnold. Uh, Niners just destroyed. They destroyed Kevin Coleman going off, fifty-one to thirteen over the Panthers. Patriots do what Patriots do. They win twenty-seven thirteen. Belichick with his three hundredth win, regular and playoff games. I think combined, right? Uh, Texans edged out my Raiders 24 to 20, 27 to 24. Packers 31 to 24 at the end. Um, they scored 14 points in the fourth quarter. That defense still an issue. Um, still an issue for for Kansas City. And I don't know, what are they going to do? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they don't have a strong enough running game to control the clock. They almost score too quickly. Give the ball too quickly back to a defense that's still still a little better than last year, but still still a little weak. You know, score, score too quickly, especially when Mahomes is out there. They got to figure something out. There's Andy Isabella for the Cardinals, rookie autograph. For Senyin and the Cardinals. And the Monday night game. Everyone watch the Monday night game. Dolphins going up 14 nothing on the Steelers. Everyone thought, oh. This is like, you know, some, Dolphins are going to accidentally get a win somewhere. There's Quincy Nunwa. But then Steelers are like, wait a second. It's the Dolphins. Score 10 in the second, 7 in the third, and another 10 in the fourth. Dolphins got shut out the rest of the way. There's Jalen Ferguson.
They covered, though, depending on where you got the number. I think for most people, they should have covered. Thanks, Dolphins. There's Jalen Ferguson for the Ravens. That will be for Jacqueline. There's A.J. Brown to 175. You're telling me that guy can't pass rush, Edward? No matter who's coaching? It's just like Cleveland Farrell. Just go and get the quarterback. Sean saying Chargers have less than seven, have seven games decided by less than a touchdown. Five not in their favor. Here's Travis Homer to 199. Marvin Jones Jr. to 249. Edward saying Cleveland Farrell a touch underwhelming. Yeah. I think he was. I think he was drafted a little a little high. There's Devin White, Buccaneers. We we're just talking about him. That goes to Stephen Cohen. Got the Buccaneers in a trade. I think... I think Cleveland Farrell, it was kind of like a they are who we thought they were kind of thing. I don't think Mayock was... I think Mayock went maybe a little higher on Cleveland Farrell than a lot of so-called experts would think. But I think they liked his character. I think they liked his intelligence. They do like his skill. And I think he's going to be fine, but I think he's not like a like a one-man wrecking crew kind of thing. I think he's going to be just an incredibly solid piece. Hopefully he sticks around for like, you know, seven, eight years kind of thing. Aaron Rodgers to one four. I think that's what they're hoping for. you got a seven, eight-year starter. You know what I mean? Which is pretty valuable, you know? So, 118 out of 175, Christian Kirksey. Yeah, next week, Aaron, Lions, Raiders. I'm going Raiders. I am going Raiders. Raiders are at home for the first time in like almost two months. So I think that's – and they've been playing some decent football away from, away from home. And I think that that crowd is going to be rocking. There's Mark Andrews to 199. A lot of fans are finally able to see Josh Jacobs, who's kind of grown up over the last five, six, seven weeks. There's Harrison Butker to 249. Raiders will probably win. Lions can't beat anyone. They beat the Lions. Uh, they beat the Giants. Raiders defense is pretty bad, and Matthew Stafford does like to throw. <laughs> Raiders do like to get early leads. And then not score points in the second quarter or second half. There's Rogers to 75. Ask this guy. So. All right. Rex saying, did you see the video with what's going on where Brady raised his hands in the air and 10 seconds was added to the timer? To like the play clock? Maybe it was coincidence. Maybe it was coincidence. Maybe they were rolling back the clock already. Yeah, Nick Bosa has been playing pretty great. Right. Maybe we, maybe the wrong Clemson. Defensive lineman was snagged. Dexter Lawrence has been looking pretty good. I don't know. I like the Raiders in that spot. Minus two, according to ESPN.com. Raiders are back home after a million years. I know the, the players should be excited after such a long layoff. All right, last box in Random Team 2, Half Case Random Team 2. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. We have full case pick-your-teams available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. 
I think the one that's on the side right now, if you're watching live, is almost full. That'll break tomorrow. Should be one of our first breaks of the day. All right. We got a Knox in the box. Dawson Knox to 249. Redemption. There's Daniel Jones for Allen to 99. A couple autographs for Allen in this half case. That's not so bad. Not so bad at all. Where's Marcel Aitman? Can't he be? I thought he was going to be emerge as sort of a... Derek Carr needs some more receivers. There's Derek uh, Warren Sapp, that is, to 175. Uh, I don't know if it was the noise or whatever it was. I know we had a hard line. Philip Rivers to 199. Oh, the Brady clock thing, what Aaron's saying, is because the play clock needs to start when the refs place the ball down. That's what Brady was signaling. There's Rodney Anderson, Trevor Jacobs on the other side of that uh, Buccaneers Bengals trade. I think each of you got a an autograph each. We need a big body receiver. I think we need a receiver that can stretch the field a little bit. Or maybe a big body. Maybe you're right. Maybe Tyrell Williams can stretch the field and we need a big body receiver. Yeah, that sounds about right. I can, all right, sure. Go find me one, Anthony Bonilla. There's Randall Cobb, 249. Let's go find one. Let's go find one and send, send a nicely worded letter to Mr. Mike Mayock, general manager of the Oakland Raiders. There's Willie Sneed, the fourth, 25. I'm surprised, yeah, A.J. Green. I'm surprised that the Bengals didn't move A.J. Green to somebody. No one want to take a shot on A.J. Green? To 149, Terrell Davis. Unless that injury is worse than everyone... Unless everyone thinks that the injury is worse than it is. That's true. Darren Waller is pretty much a wide receiver. He's a big dude. Maybe we got the big dude. This guy would have been nice. Benny Snell Jr. That guy would have been nice. There's Jack Doyle, 249. And there's Drew Locke and the redemption at the end. There's Drew Locke going to the Broncos. That'll be for Glenn. And if, if Antonio Brown wasn't such a child, that guy would be destroying with the Raiders right now. Destroying. The Raiders would, would I, I'd say they have, Antonio Brown gives, gives the Raiders maybe... I feel like they would have won the Texans game with end. I feel like he makes the difference in the Texans game. I don't know. They got smoked by the Chiefs. I don't know if Antonio Brown would have made a difference there. Smoked by the Vikings. The offense could do nothing in that Minnesota game. I mean, Packers game was weird. I think uh, that Derek Carr fumble really changed the momentum. I don't think we were catching up to the Packers after that, even with Antonio Brown. Maybe the score line would have been closer. 42-24, maybe Raiders would have scored 35. would have been 42-35 Packers. He would have helped with the spread. And the last one is Tony Pollard's sensational signatures for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, that will go to... Charles. Charles S. with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, did the Cowboys play last week? No, they were on a bye, right? So their Cowboys are off the bye. What are the boys, what are America's team doing next week? They are playing the New York football Giants on Monday night. That should be pretty fun. I don't know if the Giants are going to win that game, but, but they are at home. They're getting a touchdown and a half. We'll talk more about that as the week goes on. Um, and more football and sports talk and sports news and the, th the sports topics of the day. We'll take care of all of that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.